good morning. Um, very early morning. It is shortly after two o'clock in the morning on Friday, June 1st. I am leaving Urbana, heading to the Peoria area to uh, meet up with Colin Davis, my uh, best friend and storm chasing partner of about 15 years. And then we are headed west to Nebraska. Um, I made a short little post yesterday just doing kind of a out and back trip here. So I thought we'd do a one day special uh, rendition of Chasing Sky Drama Beyond Champana, where I'll be posting updates. Um, you can kind of see what it's like uh, as storm chasing unfolds, what it's like, you know, a, a day in Tornado Alley um, as the day would unfold from the storm chasing standpoint. Um, lucky for you, you get to miss out on being awake at two o'clock in the morning and heading for the interstate. So um, you're already winning right there. Um, I, I'm assuming my first update will probably come towards the mid-morning, um, but just to give you an idea of what we're expecting, we've got an enhanced risk for severe weather today across the parts of the northern Great Plains here, and specifically we are targeting um, central and eastern Nebraska, where there's a 5% probability for tornadoes on the early morning severe weather outlook. Um, and I agree it's a fairly low tornado threat just because I'm expecting only one or two tornado producing storms in the area. I think that um, a couple of the negatives that we're going to be working with today, the first is a very strong cap, at least during part of the afternoon. Um, and a cap is simply a layer of warm air um, in the lower levels of the atmosphere that act to uh, kind of suppress thunderstorm development. Um, and that can be a good thing. Uh, because it allows the atmosphere to build and it allows that intensity to uh, kind of percolate before um, exploding during the late afternoon and the evening hours uh, during the peak heating when the atmosphere uh, when we're down here at the ground when we're at our, our hottest you know in the late afternoon after the sun's been shining so um, potentially the cap could be too strong and that would prevent thunderstorms from developing uh, the other concern that we have is that once thunderstorms develop um, it may go up so quickly that rather than having one thunderstorm all by itself uh, producing tornadoes, which is the ideal scenario. You just want one lone supercell that's not being interfered with uh, by these other thunderstorms. Uh, but it, it does look like there is at least some potential that uh, we could see a bunch of thunderstorms erupt all at once along a line. Um, and, you know, you end up with maybe a cool sky or something like that, but it becomes evident pretty quickly that your tornado threat is low. So uh, those are the two things we're kind of hoping against. Uh, we don't want the cap to hold too long to where the thunderstorms don't develop until after sunset uh, when you can't see the tornadoes and then your chase is essentially over before it began. Um, or that we have too many thunderstorms develop um, and we end up with a cluster that's, you know, potentially photogenic but not really producing tornadoes. Uh, we want something right in the middle. We want, um, you know, one lone supercell thunderstorm that just does its things for a couple of hours and hopefully uh, we get a tornado or two out of it. It's just been a very quiet year. Um, I, I, you haven't missed out on anything. I just have not been doing this um, at, to this point this spring. So anyway, like I said, I was gonna be prone to rambling here. I am going to hit the road and just look for an update here around mid-morning. I'll let you guys know what to expect. Um, but right now the plan is to leave here two o'clock, be in the Peoria area uh, sh right around four. That's where I'll meet with Colin and then the two of us will be heading west into Nebraska with a, uh, uh, the hope of arriving in our target around Grand Island or uh, Kearney, Nebraska, very close to lunchtime. So we got time to grab a bite of eat or a bite of lunch, um, something to eat, sit down and kind of get our bearings and allow for some extra time to adjust uh, to a different target if we need to. So I will just talk to you all then. Have a great morning. Um, and I'll just talk to you a little bit later. In the night while my body slept in my bed My mind was running through the woods instead 100 miles an hour in the fast lane a hundred miles an hour in my head It's nine o'clock in the morning, we're in Stewart, Iowa. Um, finally standing. Got some coffee, some orange juice, um, and we're just gonna keep chugging west. We're about an hour away from the Nebraska border. Um, things still look about the same as they did when we left. You know, it, it could be a great day, could be a frustrating day. Um, we're just hoping for that one lone supercell right before sunset.
currently sitting in uh, Ansley, Nebraska. Um, it's about 2.50 p.m. Central Time on uh, Friday, June 1st. We're watching um, conditions begin to percolate here. We've got strong southeasterly winds. It is very hot, very unstable here. Um, and the cumulus field is beginning to bubble, and we might have some storms beginning to develop off to our west, northwest. Um, so we might kind of uh, holding back a little bit. We don't want to jump too hard at the very first storms that go up, but um, keeping an eye on things. We might be making moves here in the next uh, you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, uh, hopefully intercepting a storm in the next hour or two. About 5.45 p.m., we're in Ansley, Nebraska. We've been waiting on the cap to go, and it looks like that's finally happening now. Two updrafts we're watching. Uh, one off to our northwest. This one to our west has our attention. You see this hard left edge there spreading out into this big anvil uh, moving overhead. Um, so we luckily we can sit here and we can still kind of watch it get together, but um, I think we'll begin moving here pretty soon. Even more updrafts going up on the southern end of that. Uh, so plenty of updrafts to pick from uh, over the next um, half hour or so at least. Hey guys, it's um, it's about nine o'clock. I just want to update you real quick. Um, it looked like the day was going to be kind of a bust, but um, got this gorgeous storm, which is um, it's rotating right here. So we're gonna watch this. Um, if nothing else, we've got a great show here at sunset. This thing might do something before the sun sets. <laughs> yep.
this door north. Yes, tornado. It's there. Yep, 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 yep. Stop if you can up here, just for a while. No, you can't. Roll down your window. Thank you. About 9.15, you're just east of Ward. 